Hello, Sagittarius friends who are in the twin flame journey. If this is you, you are in the right place. Um, I am doing a twin flame journey um, reading for the month of January. I'm going to draw one card from the Romance Angels deck, and that is our overall um, theme of the reading. It'll kind of give me an idea as well, too, at where you're at in this journey. And then if you feel that that's where you are, then that's you're in the right place. If you have not gotten to that part of the journey yet, I encourage you to still watch because every Twin Flame journey follows um, a lot of the same steps. So if you're not here yet, you will be soon. And if you've already um, gotten to the point of the reading that I'm at now, I also encourage you to watch because um, just to see how much of it resonated and how much of it um, you had gone through yourself. So anyone in the Twin Flame journey, whatever stage you're in, I encourage you to watch. So we'll get started. Spirit and Angels. Can I have one Romance Angels card to give the theme of the reading as well as where we are in the journey for this particular reading? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Cut the deck here. Okay, so Sagittarius, for the first or for the month of January, our card is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. So you could have just met this person, or you are just coming out of uh, separation and you are back to talking with them. So we will leave that card right there. And I think I will use, I think I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot. Okay. So we're going to pull five cards for um, the Divine Feminine first. So Spirit and Angels, can I have five cards for the Divine Feminine and where she's at in this journey? First four cards are the four weeks of the month of January, 2018. The fifth card is her overall um, energy for the month. Not yet, Spirit. Okay. So here we go. Five cards for the Divine Feminine. Spirit Angels, can I get five cards for the Divine Feminine, please? Born under the sun, moon. A rising sign of Sagittarius for the month of January 2018. Also, um, I'm doing these by uh, Zodiac Signs. So if you are a Sagittarius or your Divine Masculine is a Sagittarius, um, these messages are for you. Oh. Okay. All right, perfect five. Can I get five now for the Divine Masculine Spirit in the same um, manner, please? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, you don't both have to be Sagittarius. Just one or the other of you um, should be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, for this reading to be for you. Okay, Spirit is wanting me to cut the deck, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. okay. And then, Spirit, can I get one last card and that is going to be um the energy of the two souls merging and for that i am going to use the um wisdom of the hidden realms by colette barrett reed beautiful beautiful cards oops why did i take long the eagle king the big picture and angelic help so that is the two um energies of the divine Masculine and feminine um, married together. That's where they are going to end the week. So at the beginning of the week, we are, 
or at the beginning of the reading, we are reminded of our chemistry that we share with our twin flame. So this is uh, for those of you who have already met and you know this is your twin flame. Um, I'm going to clarify with the... We're going to go with the Raider weight. We're just going to go with the basic. <clears throat> okay, so the first week in January, the Divine um, Feminine... She is ready to get on that darn horse and come flying in with a love offer. Um, she is very sure of herself as far as this connection goes. She she knows that this is her um, her divine masculine because. For a group of you, um, you may be uh, like a tarot card reader or or something along those lines, but the Divine Feminine is also seeking advice through uh, this, like this sort of practice. Spirit is encouraging you, though, to, if you go and see somebody like in real, like in person, to make sure you check their credentials because for a group of you, you are um, paying money to to have this person connect the two of you in the 5D. And Spirit is reminding you that you don't need somebody else to connect you in the 5D. You pray to your angels and your um, and your guides and ask them to help you meet in your higher self and ask them to meet your twin in your dreams, like, and you will meet in the 5d. So you're paying for somebody to, um, have you connect with this person in another realm and you don't need to do that. That was just a side note. I don't know who that was for, but, um, <clears throat> spirit is, um, encouraging you not to rush in too fast. This person is not ready for this stable offer yet because they are still, in the chariot mode. So they are, they have left their karmic partner. I do see that, or they are in the process of it um, this week. If they're not, they are mentally ready now, which is a big deal for the divine masculine because he has been stuck in his headspace for quite some time now about what to do, where he should go. Um, he didn't want to hurt his karmic partner, but look at that. That's how cool spirit is and clarifying things for us. He is moving on. He is um, following the the divine uh, light of the moon, and he is in search for his two of cups, which you and him hold. So that is very cool. He is moving in the positive direction this week. Um, if they live together, he could be possibly moving out. But this like for sure means he's moved on emotionally. He knows this connection and he is physically looking for a different place to live or he has already found one. But, oops. The second week of January, 2018, the divine feminine has the ace of wands. So I can, let me get this message. Um, can I get a clarifying card to go with that message, Spirit, please? Clarifying card of who that message is for or or in what regards do you mean by that? Oops, way too many. One clarifying card. Okay. Okay. So... For the Divine uh, Feminine, the second week of January, um, passionate new beginnings are beginning, but not just in like the love or like, you know, the physical um, forefront. This is also about finding a new home, possibly together. Um, 
being passionate about uh, your children, your families coming together. For a group of you, you have um, you both have children, so you will be blending your families. And uh, Spirit is saying, don't rush too fast because um, everybody needs time to adapt, especially the children. And uh, whoa. Right. So, yeah. And to make sure you remember to have compassion and uh, treat his karmic partner and his children with respect, not not um, like his children, but the mother of his children, the divine masculine's children. Make sure you um, remember to just have compassion for their ending and it's going to it's going to take you a long way spirit is saying because she will come to appreciate that from you and you guys will eventually build a relationship as well um a co-parenting relationship so as it's worth taking the time and to slow slow down and and make sure you consider the karmic partners feelings as well the soulmates um, feelings too, just because, um, they're still in a little bit of a shock. They could be married or, or separated in the form, in, uh, the process of getting a divorce to a Taurus, um, and getting that they were married to a Taurus or in a long standing committed relationship. I dropped that card. The divine masculine, the second week of January has the five of swords. So, um, He's ready for the fight to be over internally and externally. Um, in January, I see the Divine Masculine is getting a whole new sense of freedom, like personal freedom. Um, he knows that this uh, partner or the, the mother of his children is not who makes him happy anymore. And, uh, and he's ready to be done with that. It is being clarified by... Oh, the five of wands. So, oh, I'm sorry. That was the five of swords. Oh yeah. Okay. This is the five of wands. Hello. <laughs> so he, they're feeling like he, he feels like he won, but he didn't win. Um, because he's having a hard time letting this, um, partner go, not because he's still in love with them, but because he doesn't want to be away from his children. Um, any more than what he has to. And he knows he's going to have to share. Obviously he's had a lot of internal, um, conflicts within himself about this. And so now that he's finally figuring this out, he needs time to recover and rejuvenate his body, his spirit, his soul. Um, and just some time to take a step back and just finally rest because he's been under stress for months trying to figure out is it, does he stay with this person? Um, does he go to you or to the divine feminine? I'm sorry. Um, he has so much internal conflict within him, within his own head because he didn't want to hurt anybody. Um, most of all the mother of his children, but he knows he was in love with the divine feminine and he didn't love this person anymore like that. He, he will always love them as a mother of his children, but nothing more. So now that he's finally made the choice is out in the open. Secrets have been revealed. Um, everybody knows everything. He can finally take a breather and relax and let that burden roll off his shoulders. Let that stress go. So, um, right now in the second week of January, he's going to be taking some time just to work on himself, to recover and to and to get ready for the next phase in this uh, journey. Now, the third week in January, Divine Feminine, you are feeling stuck, but they're all thoughts. None of them have anything, any leg to stand on. But what is causing this is he is retreating. He's recovering. He has taken a step back. You may not be hearing from him as often. He may not be messaging you like he usually did or or whatever. 
Um, so you are, you're scared and in your head that maybe he's moving on and he's not taking you with him. Um, like he's moving on from both of you, but that's not the case. Spirit and angels, can I have a clarifying card for the Eight of Swords and the Emperor in reverse, please? Oops. Okay, so those both wanted to come out. So the Eight of Swords is being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So you feel like you've been giving more to this relationship then he has divine feminine, but the divine masculine is now fully aware of the connection and is ready to, to give this a go very, very soon. So it's going to start coming into balance, but it's just not there yet. And that's, um, also a lot of why you're feeling like you're stuck. Like you waited this long, you put in this much investment you are fully invested, your heart's in it, and you're scared that he's not going to reciprocate. The Emperor is in reverse for the Divine Masculine, the third week of January. And it's being clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Or the Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry. So, of course he's been out of sorts. Of course he's been unwell. He's been had so much stress. Um, and he feels... He feels like he doesn't quite know how to how to get back up after the battle. Um, he's been trying to leave his karmic partner for months now, and the karmic was not giving up very easy. And he just feels he he feels emotionally, physically. Every, spiritually, everything. He feels like he was under attack the last couple months. But he is um, moving into um, being single, working on himself. Um, he could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but he is now focusing on himself. He is going to now work towards being the best divine masculine he can be. So he is prepared for you. You can also help him do this healing divine feminine. So, um, but he, he is now focused by the third week of January and, um, and he's going to come out better than ever for the last week in January. The divine feminine has the world in reverse. The divine masculine has the seven of cups in reverse. So can I get a clarifying card for each one spirit? Now with this world in reverse, oops, um, we're waiting for something. Something has to happen before our this cycle can complete. Um, and so we can have new beginnings and fresh starts. Um, for some of you, I'm getting that you're waiting for a divorce of your own to go through or to finalize Divine Feminine. So we could be waiting on that. Um Also, Spirit is saying, you're waiting to hear the truth from an air sign that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you're waiting to hear the truth come out of their mouth before you can honestly move on and, and have closure to a past relationship of your own. And... This has to do with something in the past, um, a past relationship of yours, that you had to hold on tight to everything because, for one, you gave freely. You gave it your all. You gave it your everything. And they didn't do the same in return. Instead, they took. So you were constantly giving and they were constantly taking. I also see that um, you felt they stole from you. Or um, they cheated you in somehow. Not like cheating with somebody, but somehow an air sign, Sagittarius, um, you just, you need the truth about this situation. And for those of you who that is for, you know what I'm talking about. That will resonate. Um, 
The last week of January, the Divine Masculine has the Seven of Cups in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. So, he's starting to see things so much clearer. And it's being clarified by the Death card. So, he's starting to see now how holding off on letting things ending. He's been fighting the um, divine timing of things. He's been fighting. He was fighting that tower from coming down. He was fighting from endings because he was scared of what was coming. And he was confused. Like he's never experienced something like you divine feminine before in divine feminine. You've never experienced something like the divine masculine before. So it was so new and so scary that, and also they didn't want to hurt their karmic. I have, I keep hearing that their karmic partner that they have children with, they did not want to ruffle the feathers. They felt scared that the kids would be held against them. Um, you know, used them as like pawns type of thing to get what they wanted. And they were just unsure. They were unsure of themselves and what they had to offer. They weren't quite clear on why after all the stuff that they have put you through divine feminine, um, the divine masculine is unsure why you even want this relationship anymore. He's feeling, he was feeling guilty and he had his guard up. He had walls up. He was being defensive, um, because he didn't want his heart hurt. Okay. Can I get a clarifying card for the last two cards of the spread? We got the four of swords in reverse for the divine feminine. And we got the Knight of Cups in reverse for the Divine Masculine. So these are the overall um, marrying of the four weeks together. This is kind of just one card to, um, to overview the whole month. So for the Divine Feminine, we have the Four of Swords. And it's being clarified by the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Let me get one more card for that. Oops. Okay. Awesome. Okay, then ooh. one more clarifying card for the Knight of Cups in reverse for our Divine Masculine Sagittarius. Oh. Oh goodness, that's way too many. <laughs> okay. So we have here for the, the overall energy of the Divine Feminine is the Four of Swords. So she herself is also taking time to reflect and to rest her mind, body, and soul um, to take in the whole journey up to this point. Um, not only that, but she can finally rest. She can finally rest easy because... She knows that the third party has ended. She knows that her divine masculine has now left his karmic partner. And it is such a relief to be able to put all the, the heavy emotions, the burdens of being the third party down. And that is finally enabling her to get some rest, to reflect and to rejuvenate. So beautiful for the uh, Sagittarius divine feminine out there. The Nine of Cups is clear, uh, is the overview card for the Divine Masculine. And he's holding off coming in, making it a love offer just yet. Because he's kind of still in defense mode for one. He, um, he will defend this connection. He will defend uh, the Divine Feminine. He'll defend their honor, their relationship. And... And he's just waiting until the right time to come in and make that offer. Um, for Sagittarius, I'm seeing a large group of you. This will be uh, February, so next month. Um, an offer is going to be coming coming into you. and Because uh, right now, he, they're still working on themselves. They just started working on themselves. Because when they were with their karmic partner, they didn't have, um, uh, they didn't really have a whole lot of freedom. 
So they really don't know who they are right now. So they are going to continue to work on themselves through the month of January. And then when they're done with that, they're going to be ready to defend uh, this connection and offer um, passion and not just in love, but in life, in work, in home, everything. So by him taking the time to work on himself, it's going to just make this relationship just magical is what I keep hearing. Um, and, and it's going to be worth the wait. It's worth waiting for, um, with, with a group of you, um, there could be some kind of illness they're dealing with the divine masculine, um, maybe, uh, an addiction or, um, or something along those lines. I'm hearing like depend chemically dependent and they are working on that as well. And they are going to be successful, um, with that. So, um, the card from the angel or the helpers of the hidden realm that they want you to keep in mind for the month of January is the Eagle King. And the Eagle King is a sign that, um, that destiny, that what is meant for you is within reach that, you are on the right path. You spirit is saying, even if, um, it feels like it's not the right path, even though if you can't see where it is that you're going, um, that it's okay that you're on the right path now. Um, When you get the Eagle King, you, you're finally starting to see the big picture. You're seeing it all. You, it's like you're above, above the whole world, looking down in, and everything is starting to become clear. And it's just, even if things are foggy where you don't know where they're going yet, you're not sure what the next step is going to be for you, you still see the big picture. You see the end result. You see the finish line. Um, when the Eagle King comes into the reading, it just, it's just, um, reassuring you that all your prayers, all your wishes, your hopes, um, they are all, they are all reaching the divine, because when the Eagle King, when the Eagle King comes, he takes your prayers and he takes them up to the sun and releases them to the divine. And the coolest part about that is they will soon be answered by the highest good of all. And this is such a good omen to have when it comes in as your ally that you can't go wrong. You can't go, oops, I'm sorry. You can't go wrong because he's here. He's sent here by the angels and they're allowing you to kind of take the Eagle's wing and fly up like above the mountains in the sky and just soar and see everything, see everything for what it is, what it was and what it's going to be. And know that it's all going to come true because your angels are here helping. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that is your message for the month of January, Sagittarius. Now, remember that sun, moon, rising, and Venus, either if the divine masculine is uh, Sagittarius or the divine feminine, either or, or both. But um, if you're just a quick explanation, I should have said this in the beginning. If you're, for example, a Sagittarius divine feminine, that is your reading. And then it is automatically your divine masculine's reading on the bottom. If you are the divine masculine, then that's your reading. And then the divine feminine on top of that is automatically your partner's reading. So I hope that made sense. 
kind of sounds all jumbled up and it's getting late. So it could have not made sense at all. But anyways, if you are either or, um, that message is for you. Also watch your own. If you're cross watching for your masculine, if, um, you're watching for yourself, make sure you cross watch for your masculine and then put the two together. And then that's where your journey will, will, and should be where you're at. So I want to thank you all for coming to my page and watching. Um, Sagittarius, I hope you have a beautiful month in January. It looks like things are really coming together for you and I'm sending you all the love and the light and I hope you have a beautiful month. God bless.